Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. Ramses II. In 2012, in Cairo, Egypt, local archaeologists and experts from Germany came across the remains of an ancient statue that they believe to be a depiction of one of the most famous rulers in history, Ramses II. It was discovered in what was once the ancient city of Heliopolis, the capital of worship for the Egyptian sun god Ra 3,000 years ago. Today, this place is a suburb in Egypt's modern capital. The statue has been hidden all this time beneath sand and rubble, never before seen by eyes in the modern world. Finding such a well-preserved artifact in a Cairo suburb in this day and age is basically impossible, which is what makes the discovery so fascinating. Plus, Ramses II is considered one of the greatest kings that ever ruled Egypt. He was in power for 66 years, which was unheard of in the ancient world. Normally, people didn't even live to be 60, and yet Ramses ruled longer than the average lifespan. He expanded the Egyptian empire all the way into Syria and Sudan. And he established borders with the neighboring Hittite empire without spilling a drop of blood. It was a very rare event, because royal reigns were nasty, animalistic, and short. And his face can be seen all across Egypt, depicted in the giant sculptures at Abu Simbel, at Ramesseum, and apparently even hiding under the streets of Cairo. Number 9. Reptile in the Alps The enormous tooth of an extinct marine reptile was just discovered high up in the Swiss Alps. According to the experts, this could be the largest tooth ever found belonging to this prehistoric species of Leviathan, a great monster that prowled the primordial oceans of our planet millions of years ago. It's called an ichthyosaur, and it first appeared on Earth 250 million years ago. That was in the early part of the Triassic period. It then continued to live in some form or another up until 90 million years ago. What's really interesting is that between its first appearance and its last, the ichthyosaur went through many changes. It grew to massive proportions, weighing 88 tons and reaching up to 65 feet long. But then it devolved to be no bigger than a modern dolphin. The tooth recently found in the mountains belonged to one of the bigger species, perhaps the biggest. It's known as the gigantic ichthyosaur, and it died out approximately 200 million years ago. They were unearthed between 1976 and 1990 during geological surveys, but were only recently analyzed in detail. So how in the world did the tooth get on the top of a mountain? It's actually a pretty easy question to answer. Millions of years ago, the Alps weren't 9,100 feet above sea level. They were actually below sea level, deep beneath the water surrounding the supercontinent known as Pangaea. But over time, as plate tectonics pushed the Alps up to form mountains and the sea levels changed, the tooth climbed higher and higher until it literally touched the sky. Number 8. Wartime Archaeology While digging defenses in the port city of Odessa in 2022, Ukrainian soldiers came across unexpected archaeological treasures. In the midst of the war between Ukraine and Russia, nobody could have expected Ukrainian soldiers to turn into amateur archaeologists, and yet they dug up a trove of artifacts dating back to the 3rd century BC. These soldiers are members of the Ukrainian 126th Territorial Defense, and they uncovered a large collection of amphorae. This is a fancy name for the ancient containers used by the Greeks, the Romans, and the Byzantines. The containers were usually for transporting liquids and dry goods, anything from olive oil to wine to grain. These particular containers were likely used by the Romans. What a lot of people don't know is that the port city of Odessa actually began its life as a small Roman settlement by the name of Odessus. When Ukrainian soldiers got wind that Russia was planning to strike the city, they started digging trenches. And it was in one of those trenches that these mysterious artifacts were discovered. But sadly, the discovery is unimportant in comparison to what has been lost. Ukrainian officials say over 2,000 precious works of art have been stolen. At least 127 culturally important sites in the country have been damaged. Russian shelling destroyed an entire museum on May 7th, and gold artifacts over 2,300 years old, precious items from the Scythian culture, have been looted since the war started. Number 7. The Sword in the Sewer Something unbelievable was recently discovered deep inside a sewer in Denmark. 
a pipe layer by the name of Janik Vestergaard was conducting work on a street in the city of Aalborg when he and an engineer came across a sword from the 12th century. This was a medieval weapon, likely wielded by a warrior, lost for nearly 1,000 years, and it turned up in a sewer. The men took the sword to Kenneth Nielsen, an archaeologist with the Historical Museum of Northern Jutland. After inspecting the sword, Kenneth came to the conclusion that it had probably been lost in the 1300s, but may have been forged at least a century earlier. It was discovered in a layer of waste which has accumulated over one of the oldest layers of pavement in the city, which now is deep underground. Because of its age and the fact that it had been forged much earlier than it was lost, experts say it's very possible it had an extremely rich history even before it was discarded. It was fully complete and well saved, and the double-edged blade is still sharp. Unfortunately, we don't know who the sword belonged to, but Kenneth Nielsen thinks it was lost by a warrior during a battle. A sword was a status symbol in the Middle Ages, dragged both on and off the battlefield and constantly buried with its owner as precious grave goods. Because Denmark was plunged into chaos in the 13th century, with civil war spreading throughout the nation, there were plenty of fights happening in the streets. The owner of the sword could have been defeated, the weapon fell to the ground, and then it got pushed so deeply into the mud that nobody noticed it for centuries. Number 6. Goddess Buried in a Field a Palestinian farmer by the name of Abu Aid was cultivating his land when he came across an ancient statue from 4,500 years ago. The statue was broken with only its head remaining, but it was in good enough condition that archaeologists were able to identify who the face was modeled after. The statue was made in the likeness of the ancient Canaanite goddess of love and beauty, Anat. The farmer is pretty proud of his discovery telling local news how happy he is that the Palestinian land still has archaeological value. This statue is proof that the people of the region have been there for thousands of years, since the days of the Canaanites, one of the earliest civilizations in the world. Initially thinking of selling it, Abu Aid changed his mind after an archaeologist told him the ancient relic had great archaeological value. If the name of this ancient culture sounds familiar, that's because they are mentioned in the Bible. It's in the Bible that God tells the people of Israel to drive away the Canaanites, exiling them from the Promised Land because of their wickedness and their false gods. Anat, the goddess this statue is made after, was one of those false gods mentioned in the Bible. Number 5. Axe in the Backyard Angela Smith served as the Liberal Democratic MP for the area of Penistone and Stocksbridge in the United Kingdom between 2010 and 2019. Surprisingly, in 2022, she came across a Bronze Age artifact while digging in her garden. The former MP accidentally became an archaeologist that day, pulling an ancient axe caked in dirt and centuries of rust right out of her backyard. Angela shared photos of the mysterious artifact online, but we haven't heard of any real archaeologists getting involved in the case. No one knows where the axe came from or who it once belonged to. It could be anywhere from 100 to 5,000 years old. There's just no way of knowing. And believe it or not, Angela wasn't the only one to find something strange in her backyard. During the pandemic lockdowns in 2020 and 2021, people found all kinds of ancient things while digging in flower beds. A man named Peter Revel even found Neolithic arrowheads, scraps of Roman pottery, and an ancient belt hook while planting roses. Other treasures unearthed included a post-medieval belt hook in the shape of a snake found in Herefordshire, and a medieval silver coin discovered under a lawn in Stoke-on-Trent. Number 4. Mysterious Gravestone A 240-year-old gravestone was just discovered on the banks of the Cuyahoga River in Ohio. The grave marker weighs over 200 pounds. It's covered in moss, and the inscription on the front was carved by hand. The gravestone reads Thaddeus J. Peck, 1711-1781, and has a cross carved into the top. Historians don't know who this Peck character was, but they know he died before the state of Ohio was even settled by Europeans. In fact, this gravestone is so old that the Declaration of Independence had only been penned five years before. When this guy died, George Washington was a general leading the Continental Army against British troops. The gravestone was discovered on April 18, 2022. A couple of fishermen heading down to their usual spot noticed the stone sticking out of the dirt. 
After they wiped the grime away, they realized they had come across a legit treasure. So they contacted the historical society, and now we have a real mystery on our hands. Seeing as Ohio wasn't established until 1803, and Cuyahoga Falls wasn't even established until 1812, what was an old pioneer doing in the Ohio wilderness in 1781? Not only that, what was a 70-year-old man doing deep in Native American territory? The average life expectancy for someone living in America was only 38 years back then. Thaddeus J. Peck lived way beyond his expectancy. He was far from his own people, and yet was seemingly important enough to be buried and given his own tombstone. Number 3. The Oldest Rifle in Minnesota in the 1960s, an unusual relic was discovered on the shoreline of Lower Hay Lake in Minnesota. The relic was a seemingly ordinary rifle stock, except it was very old. It had an engraved side plate in the shape of a water serpent. That kind of rifle stock hasn't been made in centuries. In fact, local historian Ray Nelson was shocked to see it, because the weapon looked just like the rifles early Europeans used to trade with Native Americans. Nelson spent many years searching for this rifle, and it appears to be the oldest rifle artifact yet found in Minnesota. The mysterious rifle has been housed in the Crow Wing County Museum ever since it was found. But it wasn't until recently that scientists did a real analysis to find out just how old the weapon is. They were able to determine the stock was made out of birch wood, which had mostly been used in Denmark, Germany, and Sweden to make rifles. After a bit more research, Ray Nelson was able to pinpoint the location of the rifle's construction as the German region of Odenwald. It's likely that the rifle was brought to America by very early German immigrants in the 18th century, who then traded the weapon to the Native Americans. Then somehow it got discarded at the edge of the river, where it wasn't found again for nearly 300 years. Number 2. Artifacts under a Cambodian Temple Batambang is a beautiful beach city in the country of Cambodia. It's popular with backpackers, has thriving nightlife, and it's rich in culture and Buddhist history. In one of the city's many Buddhist temples, officials accidentally came across a small collection of artifacts and coins hidden beneath the floor. The temple, which is located in the Mang Rusay district, is over 300 years old. It's in pretty bad shape, and it's basically a death trap waiting to collapse so the locals decided to build a new one. But when they began to dismantle the 17th century temple, they were shocked to find the hidden treasure. According to the provincial deputy governor, excavators found the treasure inside a mysterious hole underneath the temple. They pulled out 20 pieces of pottery, a collection of copper bells, about two dozen Siamese copper coins, and 3,000 ancient silver coins. Nobody knows at this point where the artifacts came from, or why they were buried underneath the temple. It looks like sometime in the last 300 years, a local monk got a hold of some loot, dug a hole, and stashed it there. Either that or the treasure had been hiding down in that hole since before the temple was even built. Number 1. Artifacts at Cape Canaveral Students from the University of Central Florida discovered artifacts in one of the most unlikely locations imaginable. Near the Banana River, at the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, they uncovered prehistoric stone spear points dating back 6,000 years. What today is a highly sophisticated station dedicated to space travel was once a gathering place for Native Americans. It's a little shocking when you think about just how much things have changed in a few thousand years. Beginning in 2017, Anthropology students with UCF and U.S. Air Force Space Launch Delta 45 have been doing archaeological research at the highly restricted Cape Canaveral. They discovered that there were once hundreds of Native American sites spread across the surrounding area, but most were destroyed during construction of missile ranges and military facilities. Thousands of years of history were wiped out by 50 years of rocketry. But not everything was totally erased. The students have found clusters of what appear to be feasting areas. They found several different sites filled with shells from where the Native Americans had gorged themselves on seafood. Then, when they went digging about 400 feet from the shore of the Banana River at the Penny site, they found the spear points. These spear points were used by the original hunter-gatherers of North America to take down big game. It's pretty amazing to see this kind of archaeological research being done at a space station of all places. Thanks for watching. 
What's the coolest artifact you've ever seen? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye.